Hello everyone and welcome back, Dome here and in this video we're going to be checking out a brand new library from VSL Vienna Synchron Woodwinds right after this. One of the things that I find is a common thing amongst film composers, uh, people that go into film music, is that most of the times there's a lot of fascination about strings, about brass, about percussion, and people sometimes tend to forget one of the most beautiful sections of the orchestra, and this is the woodwinds. You know, the flutes, the clarinets, the oboes, the bassoons, all these things people don't seem to pay enough attention to them and it's actually one of the things that can really elevate your arrangements. It can really add sparkle and depth, also a little bit of density and all these things into your arrangements. So if you're one of these people that only cares about strings, brass and percussion, Think again, woodwinds are really, really beautiful and a really powerful tool when it comes to orchestral writing. And that's why I wanted to make this video today. This is a brand new library and I wanted to check it out straight away. And I'm going to play as many sounds as possible so that you can hear how it sounds because of course these are massive libraries, lots of gigs. I think it makes sense for you guys to understand how it sounds and what you can expect from it. Of course, I've shown you Vienna on one of my previous videos about my favorite orchestras. I'm gonna link it right here if you haven't watched that already, but you'll be able to tell straight away that I love the woodwinds from VSL, from Vienna Symphonic Library. I've been a huge fan for ages, so when Synchron Woodwinds came out, I couldn't help but immediately jump on them. So let's start by playing some of the sounds. I'm going to take them one by one, section by section, and I'm going to play the articulation so you can hear how they sound. So let's start with the flute and then we're going to move on to the piccolo. And like always, you know, with uh, VSL, all the instruments are playable. There is no latency in some of the samples. You just play and it plays so fluidly. Let's try without vibrato. Let's try the auto speed legato now. So this senses how you play and it selects the regular or the fast legato. Very nice, I love it. As Percival. Ah, that transition was so good. Beautiful. Okay, short. Let's try the Agile. Yeah, I like that. Portado. Okay, long notes. Let's try the espressivo. And 
regular? They're good. They're good. I want to show you one thing. I'm going to go for the legato again. I'm going to show you, like with everything else with Vienna, you have the monophonic legato mode. Or you can have polyphonic as well, so you can play multiple melodies. Let's try some of the dynamics. It's for tattissimo. Flutter tongue, that's very important for flute. Very nice. And repetitions. Rigging. So playable, very, very playable. I mean, this is literally the first time that I'm playing this articulation and I can already play it. It's playable, very, very easy. So this is the pickle of flute, okay? First, I'm going to try as always with the legatos. Let's see how the piccolo sounds. Let's try with the brato. And we can also use the XF vibrato, which means that if I use my CC20, or in this case, I'm going to learn it and assign it to CC2. Now, very, very easy to customize all these things with a synchron player. Now, let me play the fast legatos. And of course, with piccolos, it's a very, very relevant thing to have fast legatos because they do all these amazing runs. You know, it's the brilliance of the orchestra, okay? It's the top end of the orchestra. I love that. Let's play the Espressivos. What about some short notes now? Staccato's long. Portados. Okay, now some long notes. Beautiful. Dynamics. And of course you can load any articulation that you want. You just double click on it. So we have like crescendo for two seconds, three seconds and four seconds. Let's try the four seconds. 
I like that the vibrato comes in. Mercato. Trills. Old tone. And let's try the fast repetition. So this is like 160 BPM. So we have cut and we have ringing as well. So the ringing is very interesting because you lift your hands and then you get like this final note. Really, really useful. Okay, let's move on to the alto flute. I love the alto flute. I use it many times. It's one of my favorite sounds when I do film compositions. So let's try the legato first. Yeah, they can phrase, you know, this is a big thing, this is a big deal. When it comes to every instrument, but woodwinds, it's so important that you can phrase, you know, you can go like... And in real time, I don't have to work with like a million CC controllers, okay, so... melody in my mind straight away, you know, I'm just improvising. You know what I mean? It's, it's so playable and so fluid and I can phrase, I can express what I want with this melody very, very easily. Just with a mod wheel. Love that, love that, that's very good. Okay, let's go for the fast, uh, maybe, let's go for the auto speed. Nice, can play fast as well, let's go for the espressivo. Let's play some repetition as well. Amazing. Okay, let's play the three flutes now. Okay, this is a section. Like out first. And yes, this is one of the things that I actually have pet peeve when there are libraries that have like sections of flutes and they sound really phasey. I hate that. I don't like that at all. But this actually is very good. Yeah, this is very nice. Okay, let's play some staccatos here. The agile ones. Very, very nice. Let's try some repetitions as well. Nice. And some long notes. Let's try these percivos. Hmm, 
lovely sounds. Okay, let's try the French oboe. And I'm gonna start with legato. Vibrato, of course. Nice, without vibrato. Let's try the auto speed. Repetitions. Beautiful. And I want to try the espressivo long notes. I'm gonna move on to the English horn, it's another instrument that I love a lot. And let's try the legato. Ah, so good, dispersivo. Okay, short notes. Let's try the Agile. And the Bold. You can hear the tap. Let's try some trills here. Now let's go for the three oboes, okay? So let's try legato first. I like the staccatos, they're very snappy, exactly what you want when you want to have stuff like... I love that. Okay, let's go for the long notes now. Let's try the espressivos. Okay, I'm really looking forward to the clarinets because I love the clarinets from VSL, so let's try the legato first. Oh yes. Let's try the auto speed.
enjoyable. This is very enjoyable. Es percivo. Okay, let's play the long notes now. Okay, regular. bit of Hans Zimmer right there. I don't know if you noticed. Beautiful sound. I love it. So good. So satisfying. Es percivo. Mozart. gonna keep playing this all day okay let's go to the flutter tongs yeah I love these samples they're so precise When I first got into orchestral libraries, the thing that really struck me and I was like, wow, was when I heard the first time uh, some of the clarinets from VSL, like the, I remember it was the E flat clarinet, and you could hear the tap. And I was like, what is that? This is so good. I mean, back then it was like a big deal and it still makes me shiver to this day. Beautiful. Okay, repetitions. Let's play some of the short notes as well. Agile. Not every library can do this, I'm telling you this. I mean, this is really nice and fast and really precise. I don't have to struggle to play in time with this library. Brilliant. Okay, bass clarinets. Okay, let's go down now. I mean, they're so fun to play. Let's try the fast one. This is probably the fastest bass clarinet I've heard uh, in a library. Short notes. These are the bowls and let's try the Agile. Portados. Repetitions. Let's try the Flutter Tongue.
Halftone Trills. Now you immediately get this cartoon-like sound. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, the fact that we can do this on our computers these days, it's amazing, isn't it? So let's go for regular long notes now. Okay, let's try the three clarinets now. I'm going to start with legato. Let's try the staccatos as well. So, so good. I'm gonna go to the bassoons now because I want to play all the instruments. So bassoon, one, and let's try the legato. Let's try with the brighter now. Let's try the auto speed now. See how this this works now. Ah, such an expressive instrument. Okay, let's try the short notes. Try the agile. Flutter tongue. Nice. I like Phil Noir stuff. Half tone trills. And I'm gonna try some of the repetitions as well. Yes, and with ringing. Cool, let's go for the Condra bassoons now. And I'm gonna start with legato. Mm-hmm. 
Repetitions. Let's see, that's going to be interesting. Now, the three bassoons, legato first. Okay, and dynamics it's for Tadu and Swell. Okay, let's try this one. Now, let's move on to the two T's. So, this is going to be like sections, okay? So, let's try con piccolo, and this is with piccolo, and this is without piccolo, okay? Ooh, these are nice! This is so good. So without piccolo, should be a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I like the piccolo though. This sounds beautiful, so nicely orchestrated. I like the way they've done these combinations, these studies. Let's go for the staccatos. This is going to be cool. I mean, this I would use sometimes when I'm hard pressed and I don't have time to orchestrate every single instrument. Let's try the agile staccatos. <laughs> You know, I think these are really played by the entire sections. They're not just the previous samples laid on top of each other. I don't know, I might be wrong, but they have a little bit of, you know, time difference between them. That suggests they probably played it. Let's try these percivos. I love this. Let's try the repetitions. This is going to be fun. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to try the crescendo as well. dance they sound, you know, you could 
almost tell that there's a little bit of brass there, but no, it's all woodwinds, you know, this is how powerful these sections are. So let's try some of the effects now. Let's try the octaves runs. Okay, and then you have all the keys, right? So if I want to do like a C minor, you know, I go E major and I start with a C. So good, let's try A flat. Yeah, I mean this, you get the point, they're really, really useful. So now we have modes, let's try Ionian. Okay, let's try the Dorian. Phrygian, Lydian, and let's try these arpeggios. Huh. Oh, these are going to be so handy. Let's try major, yeah, minor, dominant, major seventh. Diminished, okay. I like these, okay, down. And now the cross as well. Okay, this is really, really fun. This, I didn't expect it. This is a big bonus for me. I love this. Okay, let's go for the low effects. And I think the interesting part here is the clusters. Okay. Wow, so obviously I can't get through every single articulation because this library is massive, but I think that now you get an idea. If you ask me, do I like it? I love it. <laughs> There's nothing not to like. It's so good, it's playable, it's, you know, this classic VSL sound, it's so easy to play and it's always consistent. That's what I like about VSL libraries. I can count on them because they're always consistent. And when I'm playing, I'm not getting into any surprises. So I can immediately lay my hands on them and immediately start creating music. So I like that. And of course, it goes without saying that the player has so many different options. I went through some of them on my orchestra's video. They always have the human eyes pitch here so you have a random pitch for every note so they don't sound mechanical and you can also mix so you can start mixing the microphones so that you can get the sound that you want. You can have close, mid, high surround, so what I played today was, of course, straight out of the box how it sounds, but you can customize the sound exactly to your liking. There are many things that you can do. You can spread the sounds across the panorama and it's so detailed, but this is the case with most VSL libraries. So let me know in the comments down below, what did you think about the Synchron Woodwinds? Did you like them? What are your favorite woodwind libraries? Let me know because I want to know. Of course, I have quite a few woodwind libraries and uh, this was a very, very nice surprise for me because I've been waiting for VSL to make a synchron version of their woodwinds for a long time and this really, really ticks all the boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, it really helps. And I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Bye!